what's up guys over here and first of all I want to say I'm really sorry I'm, I'm terribly sick uh, my throat is super sore I can barely talk right now but I didn't have any commentary set up to upload today so I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit I've had my channel for about three months now I wanted to talk about my experience with creating content and gaining subscribers and trying to network with other youtubers and share it with you guys so first off I just want to tell everyone that subscribed to me over these past few months uh, I, I want to thank you guys it's it's been awesome getting to know you seeing your comments seeing all the views that I can get from all the all the content that I make it's I didn't get into this trying to make a whole bunch of money I didn't get in to get a million subscribers or make viral videos to get off the bat I wanted to create content that people would like to see and to upload videos and check how many views I get at the end of the day it just it makes me happy that I created something that someone looked at from the thumbnail and they're like yeah you know what I'll check that out that's pretty interesting and subscribing uh, to, to see more it's kind of a, an honorable feeling you know and I feel like I couldn't have created my uh, YouTube channel at a perfect time. Titanfall was just about to drop. I feel like that was the, the, the thing I needed to make sure that my channel was ready for because I wanted to make videos every day about Titanfall. I wanted to make quick tips. I wanted to make videos that people wanted to see so they could flock to my channel. And I, I started out with 12 subscribers and obviously that's all my friends and family and all that other stuff. But... Now I have about 40, so, you know, getting subscribers day after day, it just, it, it gives you sort of the strength and the, the courage to actually keep creating videos because, uh, you know, when, when you create videos and they don't do well or people just hate on them, it, it, it does hit you a little bit, especially if you're not used to uh, getting hate and sort of stuff like that, so... Uh, seeing seeing subscriber count grow, go up and the views get bigger and bigger it just sort of uh, it makes you feel good I feel like when you're creating content and especially if you're a new youtuber you need to have that little shred of motivation to create content you need to be able to uh, work hard and not not think of this like a game you know this is actually a job it's work you know you have to make sure that what you're creating is the best that you can create for the level of skill that you have and it shows in your videos and how many views and subscribers you get I see other youtubers that are just starting out and I don't want to be rude or inconsiderate but they they don't put the work that they really need to their audio and videos not really synced it doesn't really look very well so they, they wonder why their videos aren't doing very well and they go out and ask other people hey what's go check out my video and they're getting all these hate and they're not understanding why and you you have to be able to understand that the things that you make they're not going to be perfect but you want to make sure that they're presentable you want to make sure that it's the best of your ability and uploading frequently is also a very good part of that when I created this channel uh, when, when I very, very first and I was uploading videos for the first time, I was like, you know what, I'm going to upload once a day for about a month just to see how hard it is and just to see how, it, uh, how well I could do it. And since then, I've just started doing videos every day. Every day I wanted to make videos and I found myself, you know what, I have all these video ideas and I already uploaded a video for the day, but I want to upload more. So I changed it to a video every day and two on the weekends. And just my worth eth ethic have been getting bigger and bigger coming up with ideas and wanting to create content for you guys. And I feel like that's been paying off with the steady stream of subscribers that I've been getting. The next topic that I wanted to talk about that I feel pretty passionate about is networking with other YouTubers that are sort of at your same level. Something that I hate seeing in the YouTube community is one when people go to those bigger channels and they comment saying hey go check out my channel It's it doesn't work guys. It, it really doesn't if you're hoping to get big by commenting on a video and hoping that some people see it It's not it's not gonna work the way that you want you want people to go to your channel for your content and for recommendations and the second thing I really, really don't like is when people ask for shoutouts. Now, no one has asked me for a shoutout, but I can't stand when someone goes to someone and asks, Hey, can you do all the work and look at my content and check me out and grade me and then go tell all your subscribers how awesome I am so all of them can come to me and I get all these subscribers? No, man. You want to network with other YouTubers. You want to go to them and say, Hey, this is what I do. 
this is how I do it. If you want to work with me, maybe we can create a video together. We could dual com. We can create content that both our viewers that would like that uh, we can sort of help each other out. You know, it's a win win situation. They see your content and they know who I am, and and everybody benefits from this situation. That, in my opinion, is the best way to go about gaining more subscribers and the fastest way to getting subscribers and working with people that are at sort of your level, meeting new people in the Call of Duty community, finding new friends, and getting new ideas to create content. That's the best way. Not asking for someone to do their work for you. I don't want people to get me to where I want to be. I want to be the one that gets myself to the point that I want to be at. And by networking, I, you know, sort of get a little bit to do that. Now, before I get off this topic, I want to talk about how networking with other YouTubers has been with me. I've tried. I, I really have. I've been talking to other YouTubers that are sort of at my same level going, you know, a little bit above, like 200, 300 subscribers. And that's not too much out of my level. You know, there's a little difference between 30 and 1,000. You know, that, that number is pretty minuscule. And getting a response from them is really difficult. The people that I actually have been getting a response from and I'm sort of in the works with, they've been kind to me. I've added them on Skype. It's just getting a response for the majority of it is difficult. And if you're getting into this game hoping to uh, network with other people, you need to be consistent and you need to work with people and talk to them every day you want to talk to them a lot or they're going to forget your name and they're not going to know who you are and they're probably not going to work with you but anyways guys that's going to be it for this video i want to say again thank you for those of you that subscribe to me that those that view my content every day even if it's just for a few minutes it you might think that it's not a big deal but it's a big deal to me and i really appreciate it you have no idea now those new youtubers that are watching this video and uh want to reach out to me for some kind of collaborative work go ahead and do it you can reach out to me whenever you want you can message me on YouTube you can message me on Skype I have the same Skype name as I do on YouTube I really hope to hear from you and I really would like to work with other people and create good content anyways guys it's been over to soul please like subscribe all that good stuff most importantly guys have a great day